Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for the year May June 2025 Variant 2 1. I am going to do the presentation task. The other two tasks, document production and database, are already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So now we are doing task 5 presentation. You are going to create a short presentation. Create a presentation of six slides using the file assembly.rtf. So, in order to do the editing for the presentation, I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint. So, open a new blank presentation. Now, we need to import the slides. So, go to new slide, slides from outline. From your working folder, select assembly.rta. There will be a blank slide here, just remove that. So you got six slides here. The slides must display a title and a bulleted list. Place in the center of the slide header, slide header, your name, center number, and candidate number. Place in the footer. Automated slide numbers left aligned. So go to the master slide where we can set the header and footer for each slide. So go to view, slide master. Go to the topmost slide. This is the topmost slide. You can remove these text boxes. We'll insert our own placeholders to insert the required text. So go to insert text box. In the center, you have to give your name, center number, and candidate number. Make sure it is central out. Slide numbers should be left aligned. So insert another text box on the left side. Now you can see the cursor inside this text box. At that time, go to insert again and you need to insert the slide number. This is the slide number. The hash symbol shows the slide number. And make sure it is left aligned. So the slide number appears here and your name, candidate number and center number appears in the center. So the master slide items are done. You can close the slide master, go to view, click on normal so that we can come back to the normal view where all our slides are shown with the Candidate details on the center and the slide number on the left. Format the first slide so that a title layout is supplied with no bullets. Title and subtitle are central aligned and in the middle of the slide. So you can select the first slide, right click, layout, choose the option title slide so that there is no bullet point and the title and subtitle are aligned in the middle. Move the slide with the title, look after yourself so it becomes the last slide in the presentation. So this is the slide, look after yourself. You have to move it so that it becomes the last slide. Import the image phone.jpg and place it to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title prohibited items. So this is prohibited items, insert pictures from your folder, it should be placed on the left of the bullet. So let's move the bullets to the right and the image should be on the left.
rotate the image 180 degrees make sure the aspect ratio is maintained select the image go to picture format go to rotation options rotate it 180 degrees So that's done. Use the data in the file mptrends.csv to create a vertical bar chart to show the number of offenses for the category. So open the file offenses here. Sorry, trends here. To create a vertical bar chart to show the number of offenses for the category mobile phone use. The chart must display data from 2021 to 2024. So the mobile phone use. This is the data from 2021 to 2024. You need to select only this data. Go to insert vertical bar chart. So this is the required chart. The chart must display the data 2021 to 2024 on the category axis. So select the category axis, which is numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4. Right click, select data. You can edit, click on edit and select this range so that it is displayed on the category axis okay do not display a legend a legend is not shown already label the chart with the title increase in mobile phone offenses so the title is Increase in mobile phone offenses. Display only the data values along the top of each bar. You can select the bar. Click here. Click on this plus sign. Data labels. When you click on data labels, automatically the data is shown on the top of the bar. So that's done. Format the value axis scale to display a minimum value of 0, maximum value of 2100. So select the value axis, right click format axis. So the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 2100. Increments of 300. So increments are given here in major. So you can give 300 here. So that's done. Place the chart to the right of the bullets on the slide with Tavera malpractice trends. So copy the chart. This is the required slide. It should be placed to the right of the bullets. So it's placed on the right of the bullets. All data and labels are fully visible. The chart and its contents do not overlap any slide items. So this is fine. 
Print the full presentation in portrait orientation with two slides to the page, each filling half the page. So when you are printing, you can go to File, Print. Instead of full page slides, you can choose two slides per page. Also make sure your candidate details are shown in the header or footer. For that, go to Edit Header and Footer. Footer. Give your name. And the number and candidate number. Apply to all. And you can print this from here. So this is the end of the presentation task. Please check the description for the links for other tasks, Word, Microsoft Word, Document Production and Database. Thank you for now.